we're looking at the right ox coxy, and each ox coxy is composed of three separate pieces of bone. There is the ilium, this great wing of bone. Then there's the ischium, which drops down, and this would actually be the bit of bone you would be sitting on when you sit down. And then the pubic bone in the front, and the pubic bone actually joins in the front with the other pubic bone of the other ox coxy. The ilium has some sites for muscular attachment. We have the iliac crest on the top, and you can see it's kind of thick and rough. There are four points of bone on the ilium. We call these spines. So this would be the anterior superior iliac spine, anterior inferior iliac spine, the posterior superior iliac spine, and the posterior inferior iliac spine, which helps contribute to this large notch here, and we call this the greater sciatic notch. So if you're looking for the posterior, the back of the ox coxy, look for the greater sciatic notch, and as you can imagine, nerves are gonna come down here and go down into the leg, forming the sciatic nerve. There's another piece of bone sticking out here, but this is actually on the ischium, so we're gonna call this the ischial spine, and to go with our greater sciatic notch, we have a lesser sciatic notch. Now, as I said, where you sit down, you see another roughened area here on the bottom of the ischium, and this is called the ischial tuberosity. Now, remember that the ischium, you can see it's actually got this bent elbow bit of bone here, and we call, just like in the jaw and the mandible, we call that a ramus. This is the ramus of the ischium. There's another ramus, if we look on the pubic bone, we actually see that going forward and down about halfway, and there's the ramus of the pubic bone. There's a large cup here, and that large cup is called the acid tabulum. So if you can imagine if we poured acid into bone and it made this little bowl here, this actually becomes the socket for the ball and socket of your hip. About one third of this socket, this acetabulum, comes from the ilium, about one third comes from the ischium, and about one third is derived from the pubic bone. There's a hole formed by the three bones, and that's called the obturator foramen, and the obturator foramen is where the obturator nerve is going to go through. If we look at this bone as if we are looking at it from the front, where the pubic bone bends here at the pubic uh, ramus of the pubic bone, there's going to be a fibrocartilaginous disc here and the other pubic bone is going to join in the front. And that's called the pubic symphysis. On the interior of the ilium, we've got this large smooth area and again more uh, muscles going to attach there. That's called the iliac fossa. And then finally in the back, there's a rough area in the posterior end of the ilium here, and this is where the uh, sacrum is going to join, and so that is actually going to help us form the sacroiliac joint.